Alright, here we go. Match point. Let's get it. Yes, great shot. Alright, let's take a look at the technique. Alright, Darian, I'm super, super, super thrilled to be mastering your short ball today. And we're just gonna be focusing, making it really simple. We're gonna focus on one move, and it's called the front foot hop. So what we do is we have Nadal here. Now, notice here, Nadal actually isn't hitting uh, an approach. So what we're gonna use for this is to assess how he's swinging with the biomechanics with his hand. And then as we look at you on this side, we're gonna break down the technique step by step. So the key on the short ball, number one, is your goal is to take away as much time as possible. You wanna get in there, you wanna pounce, and you wanna almost suffocate the other player, just pouncing and taking all that time away, closing the net. So the first element is the footwork and the approach. So number one, with the split, really key is as we go into the next session here, maintaining that wide aggressive stance. By being wide, that's gonna allow you to get from this position quickly up and then forward to attack. So that's gonna be really, really helpful. The key fundamental here is as we approach, we're gonna be focusing on loading into a neutral stance, which you do here decently well, though you are in a semi-open. And the reason why we wanna be in a neutral stance for attacking the short ball is because the neutral stance is gonna allow you to drive your weight forward into the net, and we'll cover that in more detail. Now your placement here was amazing, which is why I hit the clean winner. Let's go ahead and jump into the second shot. The split is a little better there, but main maintaining that super wide split. Then let's go ahead and check out Nadal's unit turn. He's gonna immediately get that body rotated right away. So let's take a look at yours. So the key checkpoint that Federer, Djokovic, and Nadal achieve with the unit turn, the elbow will be bent at a 90 degree angle, and then the racket will be 90 degrees relative to the hand. Your hand to racket uh, ratio is perfect. Your arm is just a little bit straight. So when you take that racket back, immediately getting that elbow bent with the wide stance, you're good to go. So what have we covered so far? Uh, bent elbow, wider stance, and higher, like, unit turn? Yes, that'll be created by that elbow bent. With the wide stance, it's gonna be perfect. Then we'll jump here to the backswing. So here you're loading, making sure that your racket tip is pointed towards the left side of your body, up and away, right before you accelerate. That's gonna give you even deeper flip into that contact point. And here, you're just not generating as deep of a flip as Nadal, which by having that deeper flip, that means you're generating more racket head speed because it's stretching out that shoulder muscle. Then the last piece is with the orientation of your body, see here how your, your weight is shifting off to the side like this. What we're gonna master today is you getting that forward momentum of the body, pouncing and taking away time. So that pretty much concludes the main pieces that we're gonna focus on. We're gonna get that wide split. We're gonna get that early turn better unit turn back swing position then we're going to be closing the net learning the front foot hop all right let's jump right in all right darn so the first thing that we're going to master is that front foot hop move so basically we're going to break this down step by step but putting it all together you're going to be able to step in and execute that move right there where you're moving in you're going to get loaded into a neutral stance improve that back swing prep checkpoint we just talked about then the key here is you shift that weight forward and then you drive and pull simultaneously. And then really key is as you hop, notice how much my trunk is leaning forward. That back leg is kicking back for balance. So all together, leaning in and extending just like that. So in the first drill, you're gonna go ahead and just focus on splitting, improving the unit turn. Remember with that bent arm. Then you're gonna set. Then I'll feed in your main focal point is shift the weight forward, pull, and then kick that right leg back taking away time. So go ahead and get in that position, good. Unit turn, set, that's it. And then hop. Nice, excellent. Ready, ready, back. Here we go, good wide split, unit turn, set. So good. Get there, get there, get there. Yes, buddy, here we go, all the way back. Come on, come on, come on. Awesome, lean in, ready, two more, get there, wide. Yes, all the way back, split, wide, in. Yes, great brush. All right, my man, that's awesome. Let's go and take a look at that form. All right, so let's go and review your very last shot. Let's see how we can improve. I love how you are attacking. I love the wide stance. Let's see how we can improve even more. Now, even in these feed drills, making sure when you recover, you still hit that wide split. That's key. Unit turn. Look at that. Perfect bend. You did a great job with that. So that's excellent. Let's go ahead and assess your stance now. Stance is so much wider. Now, there's one key piece that I'm noticing right here. So watch how when you take a step, your racket starts already flipping. So in this next exercise, we're gonna be focusing on driving the leg first, and that's gonna give you so much more effortless power from that whole body. Now notice here how when you swing, it's going on a downward swing path. 
By swinging down, you won't get as much of that vertical flip. So that's the second thing we're gonna master. Basically in the next set, you're gonna focus on doing a wide split, setting, making sure that the leg doesn't swing in step, but rather you get set. And then when you swing, that shifting the weight and then vertical swing path for that massive top swing. Then the last component has to do with your trunk orientation. Notice here how when you're swinging, your body's coming up and your trunk is pointed straight up. Now what's gonna give you way more power and also take away time is when you make contact, getting that trunk position to be leaning forward and essentially you'll have that back leg kicking back just like that. So if we master those key pieces, you're gonna take away more time, get that more spin. All right, let's jump right in. So I'm gonna grip the force grip down low on the fence and your primary focal point here is getting set into a neutral, shifting the weight, driving up, and then having that back leg kick back just like that. Here you go, ready? Let's go ahead and knock out about 20 reps, developing that muscle memory. All right, let's go. Nice, here you go, wide stance. Good. Awesome. Great, so good. Way to fire that shoulder. Good, way to activate. Nice. So the two pieces to improve right now is making sure you get that non-dominant arm stretched across. Then when you swing, notice my finish, how my trunk and back leg are super far, just like that. See that? All right, here we go. Let's jump right in. Beautiful vertical. That's the one, Darian. Yes. Accelerate that arm forward. Good. Come on. Good. Where's that non-dominant arm straight across? Beautiful. And then tuck it in. That's it. Perfect technique. Let's go. That's it. And the doll power right there. Pull. Good. Loose wrist. Love how you're swinging on that vertical. That's perfect. Yes, Darian. Good. Is that left leg kicking back? That's it. Good. Forward weight transfer. Taking away time. So good, my man. Beautiful pull. Let's go. Five more. Push it. Let's go. Challenge yourself. Yes. Loose wrist. Shoulder. Good. Three, two, one. Nice. Go and set that down. That's awesome. So there, the primary element that we improved was making sure that the swing was initiated from the leg and then pulling that arm forward, getting that right leg kick back. All right, let's close it out with some more drills and then hit it. All right, Darian, in this last set, go ahead and demonstrate with the shadow the key pieces you're gonna focus on. Good wide split in. Yes, I love how you got that back leg back. Key, last piece is as you shift, watch how I'm gonna hop off of that front leg. Ready, one more time. Good wide stance. Beautiful, that's the one. All right, let's put it all in the action, my man. Wide aggressive split in and hopping. Brilliant. Get in there early. That's it. Let's go. Looking so solid. Wide split. Get in there. Come on. That's it. I love how you're getting that trunk forward. Yes, good try. On that last shot, the reason why you miss, two things. The trunk going up, the swing path. On this swing path, because you're approaching, should you swing more low to high or more linear? Exactly. Taking away that time, keeping it low to the net, just like that. Here we go. A leash right here. In, 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 in. Oh, good wide stance. Got it done on the line. Now, go ahead and rip that approach. Come in, soft touch, drop volley. Ready? Hot to cold. In. Good wide stance. In. Brilliant. On that last front foot hop, did you feel like shallow spin or deep pop? Shallow spin. Because the trunk and arm were here, the key to mastering that power and approach is trunk forward. You see I just took all the time away? It's because that chest is leaning in. Power from the body on that approach. You go in, 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 in. So good, touch, touch. Brilliant. All right, he's looking so much better. Let's close it out with some hitting. All right, Darian, so now I'm gonna feed that short approach, hop in with that front foot hop, and I'm gonna play the best defense I can. Your goal is to close it out, win the point. Here we go, ready? Anywhere you want. Yes. Close. Great cross step, great control. Here we go, recovering back, get that workout. Wide split, aggressive, perfect. Good. Way to close. Yes, quality. Right, here we go, okay, you're looking fantastic. So now we're gonna play a game to seven. You get that easy approach, close it out hard as you can. Here we go, ready, wide split, in. More. Yeah. Oh, I guessed. So really key, guys, when you're out of a point like that, just guess one side, you might draw the unforced air. Here we go, two bucks.
Oh, good try. Here we go, one more for practice there. The key to crushing that ball, forget about everything, close with your body, and just drive it down like that. Ready, here we go. Ready, close with the body, drive down. Good try. There, make sure you step from the left to the right. Ready? One more time. Left to right. Left to right. Great. Love that close. Lean in. Yeah. Brilliant. Now, you see how much time, I had no time to react. Because you leaned in, you took it early. Even though you hit the winner, you still could have improved more forward. Did you feel it? Here we go. Ready? Three, two. That's it. Great shot. Way to be controlled. Here you go, threes. Oh, try. There, you tried to swing hard with the arm, but the upper body over rotated. Lean in, take away the time. Four, three. Great shot. Ah, huge. Five, four. Got the lead. Here we go, five all, ready, close it out. Good, brilliant. Match point, Prince Dari. Here we go, in. Oh, let's go. Fortune favors the bold. Here we go, deuce, in heart. Yes, such a good hop. All right, world-class athletes, I hope you guys love this video. If you want to master the Federer forehand, click here. If you want to master the Djokovic backhand, click here. I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.